time for the Praise Report, a media ministry of Heartland Christian Center. Many have been touched physically, spiritually, and emotionally while enjoying the program. And now, here's Pastor John. When you do the right thing, the right thing will happen, even if it doesn't seem to be happening right now. This will be mainly for our partners who's been with us for many, many years, and you know some of the trials and things we've been through. But... I want to say some things here. I am the most blessed pastor in the world. I really am. And we have some of the best partners that are, some of you, I don't even know how many years it's been since I've seen you. And you're still there. You're still a friend. You still support. I cannot thank you enough. You still pray for us. All of you that's getting this, I hope that you pray for us. And if you're not supporting, it's a good time to renew a pledge and start supporting the ministry on a regular basis because this is good ground. It's good ground. And we went through some situations. Anybody in this room ever go through something? Did ever go through something that took you by surprise? But guess what I found out? It didn't take God by surprise. And when we were going through some things, my son Chip you know, he likes to remind me of things he heard me preach. And he said, Dad, remember what you always told me. What don't kill you will make you tougher. What don't kill you will make... I said, Chip, I feel like Superman and Iron Man and all the Marvel characters right now. I've been stretched so much, I feel like Spider-Man or Rubber Man or whatever you want to call me. And, but we kept trying to do the right thing. And God has sent some wonderful people. I was watching the videos, and Manny is amazing, who does edits the program and our producer and all. It's, cannot thank you enough for Manny. Every one of you ought to really thank Manny. All of you watching the video. I don't have to even talk to him. He don't like to talk much. I don't even talk much. He doesn't even eat much, but we're having cake today, so he'll get some cake. But it's such a pleasure having people work with you. You don't have to explain yourself and defend yourself and argue about it and the questions and why. And No. We did a program on there, Best Christmas Ever. He puts a Christmas video in. And he's putting, you'll start seeing some new video that he's getting out. It's such a pleasure. And you guys, partners that's watching this, these people are amazing. Amazing. Well, when we left the store in Umatilla, we had to diversify. And we... There are buildings like antique malls or flea markets and indoor and all, and you can rent space there and put your stuff in there, and then they sell it for you, and you pay the rent, and they get a commission and pay the sales tax. Well, we had a lot of stuff, so we diversified to five buildings, and all of them doing okay, but not enough profit. We're basically working, and, and, they're, and paying rent, and they were making the money, they're making the commission. Friends, partners, listen, we really need a building. Now, this is a church here that we share with another church. We need our own. We need a building, and, and we get along great together, and that's a miracle. It's hard to two to churches meet in the same building, but we're good. We need a building. We have services in the stores and the studio and all the things that the children show, all the things, but we really need a building. But to make some extra money, to try to raise money for a building, we've been doing some sale, looking other ways on Saturday to income. And at the fairgrounds during the week and on weekend, you can go there, set up a tent, and, and make some extra money for the ministry. I hate it. I hate it. Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh, I have people in the church call me, and I say, start calling me at 2.30. Call me every 10 minutes until you annoy me. I want to make sure I'm up. I got to get up at 2.45, and if I get up at 3, I'm going to be late. So, so I tell a bunch of people to do this. And all the time, they've been thinking they're calling me to make sure I'm up, but they don't know I'm having them call me to, so I can make sure they're up. <laughs> but we got to get up early, drive a distance with the truck and the trailer to the fairgrounds, like we've been at a particular fairgrounds the last three Saturdays. 
getting up two in the morning. And some of them got to get up a lot earlier than me because they got to drive further than me to get there. And it has not been that profitable. So in the last three Saturdays we did it, one was on the first Saturday of the, uh, the last Saturday of the month. Okay, don't worry, folks. We didn't make much money. Thank God we paid the rent. We didn't lose money. We lost some sleep. You know, and it's nice watching them fight with one another and bickering and all. It's really good church fellowship. And uh, we bond together. And they hit one another in the head with the tent poles and we're setting them up and everybody's shining their light in one another's eyes and, and uh, praying for a breeze. And it gets, you might not know this, it gets really warm when the sun comes up in Florida. And in the summer, you, got, you don't know when the next storm is coming from. And uh, so, thank God we've been paying the rent. But the last three times, and the, the first one we tried at this one place was the last Saturday of the I said, don't worry, it's the end of the month. Next week, it'll be the beginning of the month and people have more money and we'll do better next week. Two o'clock in the morning, drive down there, pull out the tents, set up the tub, drag the tables out, put the stuff there, good stuff, cheap stuff, this stuff, and everybody's working, and the day is over, and I thought, gee, we did the same as we did last week. And then one of the vendors says, don't worry, because I find that it's better, the second and the third Saturday is better than the first and the last day. All right, guys. Don't worry, next week's going to be better. It's the second Sunday, Saturday. We go up in the morning, go down there, drive down there, drag up the tent, set up the tents, hoping it don't rain, and putting the stuff out. The end of the day, yesterday, was exhausted. And they counted how much came in. It was actually $30 more than I told you because I forgot some people put something on a credit card. Wasn't much money, was it? And I'm driving home and I say, these poor people, man, they got to go get the stuff when people donate it and, and they give up their time and they give up their Saturday. You guys are amazing. Not too many people. Are I preach in a lot of churches. I preach in a lot of churches. And any pastor out there would love, you leave my people alone, any pastor out there would love to have people like in this congregation would love it. You guys are amazing. I know I got a name for every, well, Chump has a name for everybody too. I got a name for every one of you. And uh, you have names for others that you can't tell me. But uh, you're amazing. And I'm driving back, two hours back to where I gotta go and unhook the trailer, and take the truck. And I thought, these poor people, Lord. I wish I could told them that they did better for all their hard work. But I go check the mail on the way back. Somebody comes in the mail. I check eBay. We still sold stuff on, we stole stuff, we sold stuff on eBay. Are you there? Then I get a phone call. Pastor John, I hate to tell you this, but I was called in to work. I'm not gonna be able to come today, but can I meet you before church? I, I wanna give my tithe and offering. All right. So I thought, you know what? It didn't go too good. We only made a little money. Everybody worked hard. But somebody came in the mail. Somebody put something on the website. Somebody else brought an offering to make me. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go to a restaurant and eat and treat myself. I didn't want to spend the money for that restaurant. But I said, you know, I'm going to go and I sit there. Is my wife back there listening? Huh? she listening? Listen in, honey? Okay. She got my back. And uh, I sit there. I order my meal. Mm, I'm going to treat myself good. And the waitress comes, everything okay? With some more coffee? Yeah. I say, I'm going to have a, another order of bacon. Okay. Here, order bacon. I go up to the register to pay. And the waitress said, somebody already picked up your check and paid for you. I said, are they still here? <laughs> You're going to give me an offering? I won't. No. I said, I said, are they still here? She says, no, they're gone. I look around, and I thought, wow, I should have got two orders of bacon. No. I said, wow, 
we did the right thing the last couple of weeks. We're doing, when you do the man part, God will do the God part. You do everything you can in the natural, and God will make it up in the supernatural. So no, it didn't go too good at the fairgrounds yesterday. And we're going someplace else this week, huh? But God makes it up in different ways. Be faithful with your tithes. Be faithful with your offerings. And what you can't do, God will do. And what you make happen for others, God's going to make happen. Do you know how many policemen I put the check up for? Do you know how many people that I saw were down and out? And when they're homeless and all, you know, I don't tell them who I am. I mean, I don't even tell them. I just tell, I just pay for it and tell them, don't tell, I don't want that guy following me. I just buy him a meal right now <laughs> and bless him. And I am, well, I want him to say, who was that mass rider? And that's it. A serviceman? Military people, somebody's down on their luck a little bit. Mm. See, there's a lot of pyramid businesses out there, and you know how they are? They're, here's how they are. You get a lot of people under you, and they push you up to the top. God's pyramid's upside down. You're on the bottom pushing everybody else up. That's God's plan for success. So I love you all. We're out of time. But I want to tell you, the partners, you're all awesome. People in this room, you guys are amazing. So now I don't feel so hard, bad that you work so hard. <laughs> We're going to have a chance to do it again next week. Amazing people. Amazing people. I really do love you. I am blessed, blessed, blessed in Jesus' name. I pray that all your pets out there, God will send you people like God sent me and friends and partners. Some of them, some of you, how long has it been since I've seen you? Some of you I don't even know. I mean, if you came up to me in a store and say, I, 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 sometimes that happened. And I go, oh, yeah, it was good to see you. And they say, you remember me? I say, how can I forget you? And I leave there and say, that was a faith lie. I don't know who this person is from Adam. So I love you all. Keep your prayers and support, comment, share my videos, and bless somebody. Say amen. amen.